What's going on guys? Welcome back to another modern video. Like you guys are getting a lot of modern this week. And last week we did our uh, our Bant summoning trap deck. Yesterday we did some uh, some fairies. Today we're going to do some merfolk. We're getting all the tribes out of the way. And uh, this is a deck that was commissioned by uh, Joey Fixit, who who he chooses to be known as. And uh, it's uh, just a blue green merfolk deck. Apparatus 25. Thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Are the notifications coming up? I haven't heard them, but who knows? Either way, let me know. And uh, Jay Lasoski, thanks, thanks also so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Did not see, uh, did not hear that one either. All right, so they're not popping for some reason because every day there's a different problem with the uh, the notifications and whatnot. Anyway. This is the deck, and uh, we're going to see how it does. And uh, immediately, one of the first things we said was uh, there were not any uh, Merfolk Mistbinders in here, which is the 2-2 Lord from Rivals of Ixalan, which is nice. So we'll see if that's a problem. I just feel like if you have more Lords, you might as well just play more Lords, right? Let's find out if that's true. The best what's a what's a legacy board game? What is that? The best legacy board game ever. I don't know what a legacy board game is specifically. <laughs> oh, you'll allow me to call this deck Saltai. Appreciate it. That is very generous of you. Oh, gatekeeper of, of deck names. Agent Cody Ganks, tell Mellis that this is indeed live. Mellis, this is live, buddy. This hand is definitely keepable. A legacy game is one that changes each time you play it. Interesting. So Magic the Gathering is a legacy game. Aha. Ha ha. There's a lot of Island Walk in our hand. Are they going to push this Tide Shaver Mystic? I doubt it. Oh, they didn't do anything. All right. Well then. Oh, old Branchy. So now we have decisions to make. I don't think it's this. I think it's either this or one of the lords. I'm pretty sure it's one of the lords. But then they just fatal push, right? Um, I really want to land here, despite that card being very good. I feel like the next card we hit is either going to be a, a merfolk or a land, so how can we go wrong? Interesting. The number next to your name is based on, like, bits, I believe? Cheers, what have you? Yep. I guess we're racking it up here. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Alright, well. I think we're too fast for you right now, but we'll see. Thank you. 
Oh, a rack, eh? All right, KGX Reload, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And apparently, uh, we did we did trigger the uh, the notifications. Oh, I see. That's unfortunate that you you would do that. Just attack for six here and keep up or keep up trickster. I think it I think it loses its abilities right here. I have to assume it becomes a basic land and not a 2-2, right? Unless I have to respond to that. I don't actually know how this is gonna work. Yep, still a 2-2 forest creature. Alright, so we're just gonna Merfolk Trickster that guy. Uh actually that's not gonna work either, so. Because if you Merfolk Trickster this guy to tap it, they're just going to activate the other Meat Vault. So uh, that's unfortunate. I don't think that ever stops it, actually. Because even if they put the, build the building on a stack, like... Can they not block with it? I think they could still block with it. Yeah, all right. That's dumb. <laughs> but what are you going to do, I guess? Land would be nice. <laughs> that is not a land. You block here, you go to three. play either all because if they have a discard two spell they're probably waiting to get a bunch of value out of it and uh, I don't want them to do that plus I want this on two so I can play this guy at instant speed yeah, that's pretty good I don't think it really matters though I think we're just attacking with muta vault here Problem being, if they kill the Mutavolt, it's just bad. Put them to two. 
If we attack with both of them at two, if we attack, if we just play Lord and attack with Tide Shaper Mystic, they go to three instead. Either way, if we get if they get rid of Lord or Mute Vault, they're only taking one. And they have three cards in hand that they have not used, so. I think I just want to play things because I want to remove the value that they get from their discard spells. Okay, well, nothing died there. Trickster killed Goyf, that's pretty interesting. That is not how that should work. Did we just win? Are we winning the game? Yes, we are. Got him. All right, so you have a bunch of stupid artifacts, huh? Okay. I don't care about Tide Shapers because they have, uh, like, they're not going to play blockers here, so. Pongify, nope, don't care about that. Relic, nope. Maybe Deprive. Also returns a land, which is pretty good. Yeah, I'll just put in three Deprive. Actually, Dismember is pretty bad, so we can actually bring in, like, other things. Take out a Trickster, take out a Harbinger. All right. Keep. Well, that's going to hit everything, isn't it? <laughs> Free bits for ads are great. Here's some because you're awesome. Thank you so much, man. Valthrick, thank you so much. I really appreciate the awesome bits. I wonder why the audio is not going, though. Man. Oh, you heard the bits audio? All right, well, that's pretty good. Well, discarding two cards, I guess. I mean, there's no there's no difference between playing Merfolk here uh, or, Ma or Mero Redry or Master because they do the same thing on board. Uh, one of them just actually prevents us from taking two, which could be relevant. So... That's what we're going to do. You got it. Cool. Merfolk Lord. Any, we can play anything we draw here, which is nice. This is obnoxious. 
Okay. Well. All right, they're on a two-turn clock. We are on less than that, but we'll see if they can just kill all of our things. So, and of course they can. Yep. <laughs> wow. Masters for days. We're just going face here because if they want to plus Liliana, that's totally fine. We don't have any cards. And then we can attack Liliana next turn. Well, there's one Copala and there's one Kira in the deck, so there is both. Well, that's certainly a thing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna pass here if you want to trade Liliana for. I'd rather you trade Liliana for Master than Mutable for Master, so. Mm, yep, that's pretty good. I took the Bambuskel deck to Monday Night Modern and my LGS went. I won one, two, lost Demon's O2, and a very good Jeskai Control player, one, two, beat the Panzer. Jeskai Control player. Fuck. Thanks to you and I, my friend. Hey, all right. If you liked it, I'm glad. Glad to hear it. That deck was fun. I had a good time playing it, so. So we take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We go to pretty much dead here. There's no real card we can draw. We can draw an Echoing Truth to bounce these, but that's yeah, not going to really do it. Okay. Deprive, probably better than Echoing Truth here, but. All right, well. I'm not actually going to play the Vial because they're going to make us discard things, and Vial is just a good card to discard. Also, if they play Wrench Mine, I'd like to have a, an A to Vial to discard, so. Let's see if they take it. Oh, uh, we don't want vials, but we don't have any things to bring in, so. Not like we have an option. All right. And actually, we probably do want Vials, actually, all things considered, because Vile just lets us discard one card to wrench mine rather than two, which is pretty reasonable. All right, that's fine. Oh, uh, I am currently writing with no sights, no.
I work for me. That is correct. Well said. Cool. I'm having a good time. Get out the way! Fatal Push Lord, sure. Never don't have it. <sighs> this is an utterly... M really? Huh. Intriguing. Do we just go face here? I think there's an argument for it, sure, but I also don't think they're not going to have a third swamp. So, I mean, if they don't have a third swamp, it's if they don't have a third swamp, it's a great play. If they have a third swamp, which is far more likely, I think, then it's just a terrible play. No blocks, as you can imagine. <laughs> sure. Yeah, cavern just seems worse than an island at this point. And that's a good draw. <laughs> yep. Collected company off the top would be great. I feel like you just want collected company in this deck. Like you feel like you just want the fourth. But what do I know? This is pretty rough. Still rather... Oh, they're going to activate Liliana, though. Ugh. I guess it doesn't matter either way, right? Oh, wow. Do we get value out of this? You can plus Liliana and make me discard this land. Yep, didn't think so. All right. Well, I feel like we're in reasonable shape here. Muta Vault will do. <sighs> Great. I think we'll actually take this because we can just crack back with our own Muta Vault, especially if we hit a Lord. That ain't no lord. More like cutie vault. Is that true, you think? Oh, good. Well, it's actually fine. 
You take one here. Come on, really? Top deck Liliana. Take one again. Collect the company one time. Cavern of Souls. Okay, well, this is an exciting... This is, this is, this is an exciting match we got here. Joey fix it. What's going on, buddy? As you can see, we're uh, merfolking it up. Mm -hmm. It's not looking good for us, though. Putting on the top is great because we can actually get rid of their Muta Vault next turn. And we can still replace it and attack for five, which means we might have a chance here. But I'm a little reluctant. Actually, if they hit anything, they're, we're probably just dead here because they... That's pretty good, I guess. And their lands don't untap this turn? That's actually pretty good. Alright. Well, things are happening here, folks. <sighs> Alright. Let's see if they got something. Wrench Mind, we discard one. We get to survive. If they have double double land for Raven's Crime is really good against us. Wow, this is like skin of the teeth matchup here. And if they can get us to one or fewer, we take three, and then we take damage from both of these, so. This is game three. Oh, wow. I didn't know they misclicked on Lily. Interesting. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's pretty good. I work for the government, so this is your tax money. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, interesting. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that matchup. My only problem is I don't think Tide Shipper Mystic does enough. I think Spreading Seas is fine. Or maybe you don't want both. I would be fine adding one more Collected Company and taking out one spread of Spreading Seas just because Collected Company is such a powerful card. My only, my only problem is that we have 20 lands. So we have to draw literally 25% of our lands. 20% 20, 20 of our lands to... uh to hit, but we'll see. Take out the vials in a merfolk deck? Yeah, probably not doing that.
We did indeed win. Oh, I thought we were sideboarding. I also think vials are fine. Like, you, you have to realize we don't actually have enough sideboard cards to take everything out. And vials are literally, they, they, they're they like counter spells for wrench mine, basically. Because instead of discarding two, you discard one, which is the same as just countering the spell. I'll keep this hand. Yeah, we should put in more makeshift mannequins. We actually could have actually uh, makeshift mannequin their Liliana last game if we had one in the deck, which would have been sweet. This guy. I was going to say check out my Patreon page, but I don't know, like, feel like I'm selling this person. Like, hey, well, if you miss me on Channel Fireball, you can check out my Patreon page. I'm doing my own thing. This is a lot of Mutavolts. Let's get our one breeding pool. Oh yeah, you can you can stay on the top. You can stay right on the top. Wow, that is aggressive. You're aggressive. Sweet Island. I like it. Gonna just boop right in for four. An opt. Ooh, that's nice because you're not going to be playing Supreme Verdict here. Did you play against 8 Rack? I did. I had a bad time and uh, we won. I'm just going to keep old Collected Company up. Attack you for four. All right, you got it. <laughs> Don't feel safe collected company here into your three open mana, unfortunately. Two open mana. The problem with 8-Rack is that none of your decisions are really relevant, right? Like, you just discard your cards. If you draw a card, you play it. You draw a card, you play it. But, like, none of them actually do anything. I feel like they're going to counter bounce, maybe. And even if that's the case, like, we can actually replay this guy, so it's fine. Oh, no, they're, like, syncopating it or something. Sure, logic not for one. You got it. That's just fine. Give me a lord. That's close to a lord. <laughs> Still gonna probably just attack for four here instead of wasting our time with a five mana silver gill adept. Wow, aggressive. That is aggressive. I guess it buys you a turn. All 
Okay, this is a lot of lands. I'm not really thrilled about it. Okay, we got to eat a Jace. That seems good. More Muta Vaults. <laughs> Three Muta Vaults seems good, but... I mean, if they're looking for Terminus when we have one creature out, knock yourself out. You got it. I feel like I shouldn't have nine lands in the 20 land deck. We can literally almost play Silver Girl Adept and Collected Company in the same turn. I have to assume they have a counter spell, right? I'm just gonna try to put Teferi. If they if they have a a path, then they don't get to actually counter anything else. So we'll just probably putting Teferi to one. All right. Well, that's the thing, I guess. Hopefully you can see why we're not uh, playing Collected Company when they have two mana up. What's up, Esper Charm? Wow, Crucible of Worlds. That's fascinating. I have to assume you have a counter spell, but I'd rather use this now when and then when you don't have cryptic command mana. So you can figure out how you want to counter it. Remand is fine. Deal. Surprisingly tempting to play that, but so one, two, three, four. Oh, we gotta use a green. Actually, I don't know if I want to do this. Is this what we want to do? Let's see if we can just kill this and get some get some beats in. Are you gonna counter this? Okay. Huh. Okay, well. Well, 
want to put you on not having path. Is that safe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that. Okay. No. Oh, all right. I'm just going to have six here. We don't have any responses, so. I mean, I also know how Verdict deals with the... Verdict doesn't deal with the Mutavaults, right? So, like, they block here, and then they just take six from Mutavaults. That was a thing, I guess. All right, so I'm going to take out this members. don't think they're great for this matchup. We're going to bring in these guys. I'm going to take out Mystics because we don't really need them. I'm going to bring in four Deprive. And we'll take out one Spreading Seas as well. Actually, Harbinger's probably better. They're not, their guys aren't going to be tapped, so. I did not see that coming. Keep. Man, it's so much different playing Magic when you can actually keep the cards in your hand and play them. Could have played around Spell Snare with the Cavern, but we didn't. I like having the Double Blue in play for Deprive. The card next to Botanical? Aether Vial? <laughs> I don't think that's what you mean. Ah, deprive. Correct. Path of this guy, huh? I don't think I mind that. Yeah, 
Sure. I'm not going to collect a company here because I assume they have a Supreme Verdict where they're looking for one. And they just kept the card on top of their library. So probably even more likely now. We can also engineer a situation where we collect a company and keep up Deprive. Okay. We can't deprive Verdict. We're going to end of turn Collected Company and then deprive their Counterspell so that we get to attack with the creatures that we put into play. I also kind of just like <laughs> shutting off one of their, their second white source to see if they have another. Hmm. They're going to remand this? Familiar's ruse. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so would not have been that relevant anyway. This makes me wonder why they didn't just leave it. Okay, now we're just going to set up for that end turn where we just go collect the company and deprive whatever you try to do. Got it. Pretty much my favorite animal. I'll take it. All right. Your move. Sure. That's pretty good. Doesn't matter really. It's a lot of lands we're getting out of our deck, but it's fine. Still taking six. Now their Supreme Verdict is still fine. Um, Oh, that's a dig. That's a dig if I ever saw one. 
because you're not going to run your, your wall of omens into a supreme verdict if you have one. I think we just won the game. Oh, good games. All right. Are we 2 0 right now? Man, Merfolk are OP. Good times. All right. Yeah, like, the problem is that I'm just going to end up transforming this into a regular Merfolk deck, because I think these are just better as Curse Casters, for the reason we just saw. Like, if we had one on board, we could actually uh, prevent them from um, dispelling. So... Oh, this is actually perfect. Music Manly just made this, and uh, it's a makeshift mannequin. It lets you do whatever you want. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know, do whatever you want. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just curse catch up here. I think it's just a better card. Everything else seems fine, though. I don't know if we need all the Merfolk Tricksters and the Harbingers, actually. I, I would actually... How many cards are there with Mist in the name? A lot? Okay. Maybe we can cut one trickster. I think seven of this ability. Harbinger and Merfolk trickster are very, very similar. Joey, fix it. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Hopefully you can catch this on the YouTube when it's done. I would imagine you would, because it wouldn't make any sense if you didn't. That'd be very strange. I'm going to take the Smuggler's Copter out, too. I think two more Lords are probably pretty good. Because all you really want is Lords in this deck. I think re maybe one more Regery. Mist Binder? Is that what it's called? Mist B? Yeah, alright. We'll put in one of this guy. We'll see what happens. Actually, my only problem is that it's hard to cast off Meteor Waltz, but so are all these other cards. So, I'm also going to cut the Flooded Grove and just bring another Breeding Pool, because it's just better. I guess you also have Cavern of Souls to cast these Branch Walkers. So, alright. Let's see what happens. What's going on, Standard Beat? We're playing some modern beat right now, currently. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Yeah, you might say things are, uh... Pretty, 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 pretty. Are we Troning here? Is this Tron? Because this Spreading Seas could be very good. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Oh, did they did MTGBot fix the record function? Oh, 
it did. That's great. That's great. Way to go. Oh, this is not Tron. This is some kind of artifact nonsense. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, this guy's certainly dead. Not dead. Post combat mirror rejury seems bad, but I wanted to see if you'd kill this guy first. And since you didn't, we got two damage in. Now you're probably going to kill it because otherwise neither of them die. Correct. So these guys are pretty bad in this matchup. So is this. All three of these cards are pretty rough here. Not ideal. Okay. Old Scrappy. God, that's annoying. Actually, we could play Trickster, untap the land, and then play the guy. So that was pretty... That was bad on our part, but I hate not getting value to these guys, but there's literally no value to be had. I guess next turn we can tap this guy. Sure. Yep, that'll do, pig. That'll do. I don't know if we actually have a way to deal with this, to be quite honest, but... Nope, that's not going to do it. Why aren't you... Blue and blue. There we go. Well, we kept them off one land, but they get Trawler. They get the Sack it for two, which gets back a Chromatic Star, which they get the Sack for this for two. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Sure. I 
feel like this is probably a bad matchup. We do have like four counter spells and like three echoing truths to bring in. I mean, letting them time, they're already, they have 20 minutes on the clock. I don't think the timing out is really a concern. One thing we could have done is actually use Trickster to tap a land and then steal this guy's abilities. I actually think that might have won the game if they don't have anything to do in response. The old Mox Opal in hand, sacrifice Icar Wells or sacrifice Chromatic Star, have no legal targets to get back. It's pretty good. Feels like you could have done that differently, but unless you drew it off off the star, which is possible. I don't know what's going on here, so I'm just going to let them do whatever they have to do. So how was your weekend, guys? What did you guys do? Did you guys, uh... Did you guys do anything cool? Did you guys take your... Take your take your significant others or your kids to the Crack Clan Ironworks. I feel like I'm watching someone storm off in the vintage cube. I don't even know what's going on, dude. I'm just like, hey, you guys want to play some Magic the Gathering? Me too. Me too. There we go. Oh boy, we're having a good time. I actually don't have sympathy for people who play decks like this. I'm like, well, I mean, you're choosing to play this deck on Magic Online. Like... I don't know. They were at 20 minutes, now they're at 16, so this is taking about 4 minutes just to watch them deal 
two damage. <laughs> Have they even dealt two damage, or are they just cycling this? Where is what's even going on right now? This is amazing. Are they still going? Just making sure. Oh boy. We're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. They got three games of this? How many viewers are we losing because of this monstrosity? All of them? I think if we knew the deck better, we'd also probably be doing better because we could have actually Merfolk Trickster this guy a long time ago. And then you're just, you can't do anything. You're basically just done on your turn because you don't get the ability to return everything. So you get to sack like two things maybe get two things back, but you can't play a land in response to it. You can't uh, cast any of the artifacts you get back in response to the ability, so I'm pretty sure if we did that, we could have just won the next turn. I'm waiting for him in the comments to be like, uh, can you please concede to me? I clearly have won this game. And I'm going to be like, yeah, but not really. Not really. That's not how that works, good sir. There's a simple trick here. Right-click to the left of your creature and then right-click. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that because that means we lose the game. Whereas if we just let him do this, we could win the game. Can you can see I clearly won. Big fan, though. <laughs> Boy, this is a. Uh, you guys, uh. How you guys doing over here? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they can they can mess around as much as they want. Uh, it's their clock. They have 13 minutes, we have 22, so. Can you imagine if we didn't F6, if we had to, if we held priority here? And then we got just got to click OK, and then they could just click OK after every time, and. Tell us a story. Well, you see, once there was a man who played Crack Clan Ironworks because they saw all their favorite pros play it at the modern Grand Prix. Unfortunately, this player was not as proficient with the deck as their favorite pros, so they forced all of their opponents 
into uh, Magic Online servitude while they watch them play the deck uh, sloppily in the two-man queues as they try to amass wins by drawing their entire deck in 10 minutes and trying to win multiple matches. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Oh my god. Guys, it's still going. <laughs> Not a fan. Friends are they are watching and taking bets on whether I time out or get the Lapore bounty opponent. <laughs> oh man. All day crack crack clan iron through noir. We can I think we can get like five matches in. Well, that's putting it. I think that's generous. I'm trying to figure out what they're doing here. Because, like, they've taken 11 minutes and they still have... They haven't shown me a single... Oh, I'm at 12. They're actually pirating spellbinding now. Okay, so they only have to do it six more times. Seems reasonable. Meanwhile, all this could have been different if we had just Merfolk trickstered their scrap, heap, scrap trawler. Could have been a totally different time. Um, would you mind uh, conceding for the sake of time? Uh, would you would you mind playing faster for the sake of time? I'm not forcing you to sit through this misery. You are. I think you can find where this person lives, get to their front door, and ask them to stop before the game is over. You might be right. It didn't make sense. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it during this moment of uh, misery. Not the uh, not the finest hour of the stream, but... You know. You take what you can get. Uh, it's both game one and game seven at the same time. Crack Clan Ironworks is actually the Schrodinger's cat of magic matches. It's both game one and game seven all at the same time. Oh, boring ten one ten boring to watch bits. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it, Zaxor. Always a pleasure. Seven minutes. This match has taken... They have taken 13 minutes to deal me 12 points of damage. I bet you wish it was Tron now, Bits. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy.
I think we're dead. I think they might have killed us right now. Can you imagine if I had Counterspell and I just countered this last iteration of, of Pirate Spellbomb just to... Oh, God. Hey, congratulations. It only took you 14 minutes. <laughs> All right, dismembers can go. Harbingers can go. We're going to bring in these six beautiful babies. Oh, relics seem pretty good here. Curse Catcher, I don't care about. Relic, 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 Relic. Yeah, let's do that. Good times, good times. I will play first. I will also draw zero of my sideboard cards and zero playable cards. Come on, land somewhere. Can they even win in six minutes if they, like, even if they win, like, how do they... Nailed it. I mean, if we just deprive the Crack Clan Ironworks next turn, can we just kill them? And actually, if they don't play Crack Clan here, we can... Is this the thing I care about? Probably not. Maybe. No. Do I care about any of these things? Sure, that's fine. I'm pretty sure we're just going to win this match on time, but... my guy it's gonna always yield to this I could care less about your life gain Act of negation? No. Well, this is an exciting match. Don't care about that.
Uh, sure. Sure. This is all very strange. I don't know what's going on right now. This is all very weird. They have two artifacts on board now. They can't even activate their opal. No, I guess they can because they have a citadel. All right. Oh, actually, we should have blocked there. I forgot it would. I forgot it removes the text, so I actually should have blocked and gotten rid of this idiot. Maybe not. Ironworks seems like it would be a terrible play online because it has been pretty terrible to play online. On Drum Tuna, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'm actually going to throw this Merfolk Trickster in if they try to clack, crack the... Uh... Alexa, stop. Yeah, this seems fine. Hmm. It's kind of funny, actually. They do have engineer explosives, so they can kill it, but, I mean... Oh, they're going to sacrifice it instead. Worm coil engine. One, two, three, four, five. So they can't activate engineer explosives and play warm coil this turn, which is fine. Yep, that is a okay. I'm almost tempted to put a counter on this because of Mara Regery.
Yeah, I think we have to do that. Oh, I see. Can we go Regery? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can almost kill them this turn, which is pretty interesting. Like we can go Regery for free. Untap a land. Tap tap these three. Regery. Untap one. Put the Regery into play. Untap the other two. And Regeries are threes, so that's actually pretty good. Let's do that. Does this work? Put a Regeries into play, untap a land. No, that doesn't work, actually. We messed up. Dang it, how did that work? How did that not work? Oh, you don't tell me a joke, sir. Why do you do this? So we can put this guy in. Oh, I like untap Vile Walker. Vile Walker, that's not a thing. Um, we could go Regery, untap. Yeah, Branch Walker. How, how did I mess up there? How did I get that? If we put the first Regery into play with Vile, then we still tap three, untap one land. It still doesn't, that doesn't do what I was thinking. We're not trying to untap the vial. We're just trying to untap the lands. I thought we were going to be able to untap two lands and then play. Yeah, you guys are not seeing what I'm seeing. You're just trying to correct me and tell me a different play. That's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. I think you just get engineer explosive back here, right? And you just keep engineer explosiving. You, yep. Yeah. All right, that seems fine. Oh, it is cast. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, so we're figuring it out now. It's cast. Okay, that makes sense. That's what you guys were saying. I totally didn't realize it was cast. I thought it was one of Merfolk Enters the Battlefield because it never really... That's interesting. Yep, that's actually pretty good. All right. Name or folk. Yep. All right. So we know they have engineer explosives in hand. They have Mox Opal Spire, so they can do it for three. But I mean, if they go, if they do it for three and then activate it for two, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's all of their mana. They go to eleven. We have a Trickster and these two in play. We've tapped this guy down.
Oh, interesting. Okay. No, we can't trickster and tap down because we only we have to use both of these for the thing. Like we can untap a land, but that's pretty much it. This match has been a just a nightmare. Well, they're dead on board, so <laughs> they do have to do something. They have to crack this. Yep, and they take six instead. That's pretty bad. Watch them win here. This is going to be so comical. Why Coco? Because if we hit... I, it, I was trying to figure out if we can hit two lords, but I'm really just trying to play... Okay. Sure. No, double lord with Coco wouldn't have been a win though. It was it would it, you because we, they would have taken two more damage and gone to. Yeah, another trickster could have tapped their worm, but. Is this real life? Uh, are we gonna do anything? No. Okay. Mm hmm. Amazing. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, <laughs> I just want to cry. <laughs> Oh boy, good times, good times. I can't actually say the deck did uh, did or didn't do anything great there. Uh, I think Trickster is actually better than Harbinger. <laughs> God. It also feels like we can have some artifact or enchantment removal in the sideboard for situations like that. There's really no reason not to. God, that was just miserable. Well, thank you for taking 35 minutes of my life.
Oh boy, all right. Well, these hands have been miserable. Sure, you know what? I'll keep the one land Aether Vile hand. Thick boy guts, thank you so much for the <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits, really appreciate it. Sam, if you can't figure out what we're playing, buddy. Then you have bigger problems, sir. All right, let's do it. When do we play Spirits? That is a good question. Never, Sarah. Never. So I guess Modern is all Scape Shift and, uh, and Crack Clan Ironworks right now. That's cool. Oh, Anger of the Gods one time. Oh, this is just great. <laughs> oh, this is just terrible. Never don't have it. Since it's top? What is this, a Yu-Gi-Oh stream? No one calls it a top in Magic. It didn't make sense. Thanks for the bits, buddy. Appreciate it. Pretty sure we're just not winning this game in any in any reasonable way. <laughs> sure. Hey, we dealt three damage, the same amount of damage they deal with the lightning bolt. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, the fourth collective company might be rough because we only have 20 lands. We might just want a 21st land. Even with vials, like 21 lands is still... 21, 20 lands is pretty rough.
Like we're just dead, right? Like we have nothing. Every mountain just gets to kill every merfolk we play, so. Alright, bringing Deprives. Yeah, Harbinger doesn't do anything in this format, really. Like, there's really f so few decks that Harbinger actually has any impact on whatsoever. Kind of the same thing with Trickster, but... <laughs> oh boy, what a way to go out here. Okay. Cool. Hooray! Keep it. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Good times. Good times. Oh, they kept on seven, actually. So they're actually pretty favored to win this, I think. Yeah, we're definitely adding another land and taking out the collecting company. Like, it just doesn't doesn't do anything. I also don't like Harbinger at all. Like, there's so many times where it's just a 2-2. It does nothing. I'd rather just have more lords. Hey, look, we're kind of unmulliganing here. Look at that. Yeah, definitely block. Land? Well, this is something. We're not dead. Land Primeval Titan. No land Primeval Titan. Obstinate Bailoth. Hmm. Fancy. And a stupid fish idiot. Or a stupid snake idiot. All right. These are not the most impressive hits from a collected company. Can't see any reason why I'd keep this in hand. Hmm. 
Never don't have it all. All right, cool. All right, on that note, um, I think we do take out one of these. I think we take out the Harbingers. And maybe we just add four more of these because they can all get hit with Collected Company. I think that does make it a little more well-rounded. Um... I do think Kopala is better than Kira, but I don't think you need... I think one of each is fine. Eh, actually, two Kopalas is probably just better. I mean, it's a merfolk, so like the odds of it... You, the odds of you drawing two is slim, but the fact that it does synergize with all the other lords is pretty, pretty good. Um, other than that, I, I, I'm not really sure what else to do with the deck. We did take a Spreading Seas out. I just think the deck is so strong that you don't really care about spreading seas that much. Uh, I think it's worse for a format that decks like Merfolk and Fairies are are not uh, extremely playable. I'd like to add another land, but I don't know what to add. I mean, I don't know what to take out, rather. It could just be one Mistbinder. For one more, one more like island, just just to have another island in the deck. Oh, uh, I don't want to go all in on Coco because like there's just there's a lot of merfolk that are really good at instant speed. Um, other than that, like we, it's just merfolk, right? Like we went two two, which is not terrible. Um, I think we could have went three three one had we played a little more defensively against the um the crack clan ironworks deck that almost timed out and then you know scape shift is just a miserable matchup because that deck is that deck really just doesn't uh interact with you at all it kind of just plays its lands at ramps and then in three turns you die and that's pretty much the deck so uh, unfortunately you don't get to win uh or really play magic well against that but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are interested in having your own deck critique do check out my twitch profile below you can find the link in the description as well as my patreon page if that interests you to support me on there both of those things help out a ton Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys next time.